We use myth and imagery as a fundamental part of our teaching. And I'd like to start today by examining these two images. In terms of their origin, they actually have no relation to each other. They do not come from the same tradition. They do not come from the same era. They're not even executed in the same medium. But they share in common the same subject of a powerful man struggling with a serpent. And I'd like to start by examining the state of these two fighters because they're very different. And let's start with this athlete struggling with a python. Look at him and share with me in, in a word or two, what state do you see or what emotional message do you get by examining this man? Krista sees determination. Santa Maria sees force. Alessandro points out to confronting the, the passions. Um, and this is true, um, but we will speak today specifically of which passions does the serpent represent. Now let's look at the companion painting, which shows us St. George slaying a dragon. Dragons are scaled serpents that have wings and, and sometimes limbs. So they're both struggling with a reptile, if you like, but really with a serpent. Same question here. What do you see in his expression? Sweetness, Elisa. Uh, sweetness is almost the diametrical opposite of the athlete, isn't it? Yes, Vincenzo, tranquil, secure. Erminio sees a relaxed expression. Uh, Georgia, no judgment. Georgia, very important. Key to observing something in ourselves that we do not like and not judging it. Krista points out understanding, separation, uh, recognition. Yes, very nice, Krista, because that shows you why time is a factor. And when you see, Krista, the same serpent again and again and again, that experience in itself draws you a little closer to this. Good. Now let's consider why it is a serpent, and that has to do with the yield, or the eyes, the output of the moving instinctive center, the, the lowest brain in this diagram. The moving instinctive center, the body, is the one brain we entirely share in common with the animal world. Emotionally, we're very different from a horse. Intellectually, we are completely different from a horse. But moving instinctive, we actually are remarkably similar. The four lower centers are displayed on the human body in this way because they each have a center of gravity more or less in that area of the body. Uh, the, the mind, the intellectual center, is, is mostly located in the head, the emotional center in the chest, the solar plexus. Now, the moving center is located in the spine and specifically in the bottom of the spine. And the instinctive center is centered around the bottom of the abdomen where uh, the digestive system is located. Does this remind anyone of something? I see your smile, David. There is the serpent. And Paolo, this is why the serpent is chosen to represent the instinctive brain. And so the very famous serpent in the Garden of Eden that tricks Adam and Eve into biting of the forbidden fruit is very carefully chosen. And it's not just a random symbol. It is in this spirit that I'm inviting you all again to photograph excuses. I want you to look deep into the mouth of your excuses and, and continue sharing them with us on Slack. 